Let us all stand for a short prayer. Are you ready to pray? Okay, let us pray. In the name of the Father, of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Dear Lord, we offer this day all we do, think, and say. Give light to our mind to learn lessons of all kind. Help us to be obedient, truthful, and loving to all. Amen. In the name of the Father, of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Good morning, students! Okay, you can now take your seats. Is there any absent today from this class? None. Great. Since nobody is absent today, let us give ourselves five claps. One, two, three, four, five. Now, before we continue, let us recall our guidelines when we are having our lessons inside the classroom. First is to be prepared. Second is to be positive or be happy. Third is to be productive. Fourth is to be respectful of your classmates and teacher. And fifth is to be participative when we have activities in the class. Do you understand? Okay, great. Now let's have a short game. I want you to read each statement carefully. Identify if the, if the following statements are true or false. First statement. Regularly engaging in physical activities help you become fit. Is it true or false? It is true. Very good. Second statement. Sleeping for at least 7 hours makes your body stronger. True or false? It is true. Third statement. Being fat is healthy. True or false? False. Yes. Fourth statement. Being thin is unhealthy. True. Fifth statement, if we are actively engaging in physical activities, we will be able to develop our muscles and reduce our fats. Is it true or false? It is true. Very good. Now before we proceed with our new lesson, let us have a little warm up. I have here an activity sheet and let's test your readiness and understanding of the new lesson. I will only give you five minutes to finish this activity. Candy pass. Candy pass. Thank you. You can now start answering. Is everybody finished? Okay, keep the activity sheet. Now, after answering the activity sheet, I want you to count the check marks. Are you done? Okay, the number of check marks will determine your physical fitness result. Now, this is the scale. Using this scale, I want you to identify the result of your assessment. Examine if you are excellent, good, fair, or needs improvement. Are you done? Okay, who among you got an excellent assessment? Okay, there's a lot of you. Who among you got good assessment, good remarks? Okay, what about fair? Two. Who among you got needs improvement as a remark? Okay, none. Very good. Now, before, based on the score you got in the previous activity, do you consider yourself physically fit? Okay, some of you are saying yes and some of you are saying no. Now, let me see those who answered yes. Raise your hand. Okay, Daniela, why, did it, why do you consider yourself physically fit? Okay, you don't experience any dizziness and you are not sick all the time. Okay, what else? Who can give me an answer? Why do you consider yourself physically fit? 
Yes, I'll wait. Okay, Alray said he considers himself physically fit because he can run very far distances. Okay, that is great. Now, why is it important to be physically fit? Yes, James Carr. Okay, very good. It is important to be physically fit in order to avoid diseases. What else? Crescia faith. Well done. It is important to be physically fit in order to look good and feel good. Now, what do you think is the effect of having a physically fit body? Yes, Natalie. Okay, having a physically fit body will boost your immune system and it will actually fight diseases. What else? Amber. It will help us become healthy. Are there other answers? Jasper? It will help us avoid getting sick. Very good. Now, what can you do to become healthy? What do you, I mean, what can you do to become physically fit in your age? Yes, uh, just in rain. Exercise every day. What else? Uh, Hazel. Sleep for at least seven hours. Are there other answers? Daniel. Eat fruits and vegetables. Now, well done. Today, let us learn how to assess ourselves for physical fitness. Engaging in any physical activity regularly is fun and healthy. It is basically our need to become more active every day. Being active every day has a positive impact in our lives. When we engage regularly in physical activities, we tend to reduce fats which can help us maintain our weight and achieve a healthy body. However, we should always check our health before starting to become much more physically fit. We should see our doctor and get regular checkups. Now, if you're planning to become more physically active, start by answering questions in this activity sheet. This is the PAR Q. Okay, everybody read PAR Q. This is actually the PAR-Q. Now, the PAR-Q will tell you if you should check with your doctor before you start any physical activity. Let us answer this PAR-Q. Read the statements carefully and answer each question with full honesty. Write the check marks on the blank if it is a yes and a cross if not. Please pass it forward. Please pass it forward. I will give you 10 minutes to finish this activity. Is everybody finished? Okay, now, if you're done, examine your answers. If you answered yes to one or more questions, it means you have to talk to your doctor before engaging in any physical activities. You have to tell your doctor about the part Q and the questions you have answered yes to. Do you understand? Okay. People who answered yes to the part Q can still engage in any in physical activities. However, they can do so as long as they start slowly and build up gradually. You have to take warm-up exercises first. Do you understand? Okay. Now, aside from that, what can they do to become physically active? Yes, Anthony. They can choose activities that are safe for them to do. That is correct. What else? Hazel. Great. They can speak with their doctors 
about the activities they want to perform or any physical activities that they want to perform. Correct. Now, if you're answered no to all questions, you can now start become much more physically active. You can also begin slowly and build up gradually. Compared to those who answered yes, they should always visit their doctor. Is that clear? Okay, now, amidst the pandemic, we can still become physically active. Even if gyms and basketball, basketball courts are closed, we can still engage in any physical activities. Why do you think being physically fit is important during the pandemic? Yes, Daniela. Yes, being physically fit is very important today since a lot of people are in their homes and are very inactive. And if people are very inactive most of the time, what will happen? Yes, Amber. They will become fatter. Okay, now, our world is battling the pandemic. Aside from washing our hands and following pro proper health protocols, we must stay fit in order to avoid diseases, especially cardiovascular diseases and diabetes. Do you understand? Okay, now let us have a group activity. I will group you into three. This will be group one, you will be group two, and this will be group three. I will give each group an activity card. You will have to obtain your resting heart rate and do a general and dynamic warm-up, which are all in the activity cards. After that, answer a series of questions using brief sentences that you can see in the blackboard. Do you understand? Okay, but before we proceed, let us recall our guidelines when we are having our activities inside the classroom. What is the first step? Read the directions carefully. What is the second rule? Cooperate with your group mates. And what is the third rule? Respect your group mates and be productive. Now, I will. group one, please pass it. Group two, okay. Group three, you can now begin the activity. Is everybody finished? Okay, if you are done, go back to your seats. Okay, let's begin with group one. Group 1, what did you feel while doing the dynamic warm-up? It was a little bit confusing at first, but did you master the steps? Okay, great. Now, did the activity help you in improving your physical fitness? Okay, yes. In what way? It helped you in enhancing your coordination or your body movement. That is correct. That is great. Now, what part of the activity did you enjoy more? The dynamic warm-up. Okay, let us give group one three claps. One, two, three. Group two. What did you feel while doing the dynamic warm-up? It was exciting. Why, why, the, why is it exciting? Because there are a lot of steps to master. Okay. Now, did the activity help you in improving your physical fitness? Okay, yes. Now, what part of the activity made you move more? The dynamic warm-up activity. Okay, very good. Let us give group two, three claps as well. One, two, three. Group three. What did you feel while doing the dynamic warm-up exercise? It is also confusing. Why? Because there are some steps to master. Okay, that's that is okay. Now, did the activity help you in improving your physical fitness? 
Okay, yes. Now, what part of the activity made you move more? The dynamic warm-up activity. Now, what part of the activity did you enjoy? The dynamic warm-up activity as well. Okay, let us give group three, three claps. One, two, three. Now, let us recall our lesson today. What is the assessment used? To check a person's readiness for physical fitness. Ah, oh, did you did you forgot? What is the name of that assessment? Yes, Natalie. It is called the Par Q. Again, what is the name of the assessment? Par Q. Well done. Now, what should a person do if he or she answered yes to any questions in the part Q. Yes, uh, Amber. The person should consult a doctor before doing any physical activity. Are there other answers? Jasper. The person may still engage in physical activities as long as it is safe. And what else? Alre. It is within his or her capabilities. Correct. Now, what should a person do if he or she answered no to all of the questions in the part Q? Yes, Justin Rain. They can perform any physical activities as long as as long as they build up gradually. Well done. Now, I have here an activity sheet. It consists of two tests, a multiple choice and a true or false. Read the directions carefully. I will give you 10 minutes in answering this activity. Group one, please pass. Group two, okay. You can now begin answering. Is everybody finished? Okay, if you are done, clap three times. One, two, three. Now exchange papers with your sick mate and let us check your activity sheet. Are you ready? Okay, test number one, multiple choice. Read and analyze the questions carefully and choose the letter of the correct answer. Number one, what can you do to become physically fit? The answer is letter D, engage in physical activities regularly. Number two, why is it important to be physically fit? The answer is letter D, because it has a great impact on our health. Number three, does eating a lot of food make our body healthy? Why? What do you think is the correct answer? It is letter D. No. Because our body needs only an exact amount of calories. Otherwise, it would be very unhealthy. Number four. All our examples of dynamic exercises except what? The correct answer is letter D. Stretching is not a dynamic warm-up exercise. Okay, number five. It is a type of questionnaire that will tell you if you should check with your doctor before you start engaging in any physical activity. What is the name of that assessment? Letter A, part Q. Let's proceed with test number two, true or false. Read each statement carefully and write T if the statement is true and write F if it is false. Number one, regularly engaging in physical activities helps you become fit. True or false? True. Letter T. Number two, sleeping 10 hours and more makes your body stronger. True or false? True. 
Number three, being fat is healthy. True or false? False. Number four, being thin is unhealthy. True. And number five, part Q is done after engaging in physical activity. False. Because part Q should be answered before taking any physical activity. Okay, count the number of correct items and give the activity sheet to the owner. Who among you got 10? Very good. 9. 8. 7. 6. Are there scores lower than 6? Okay, none. Very good. Now, for your assignment, you have to choose three health components that you consider as your weakness. You have to fill in the chart with the necessary information. You will also be guided by a sample provided to you, as you can see in the board. For example, the component that I consider as weakness is cardiovascular endurance. Now, my goal is to increase my cardiovascular endurance. And what will I do to, to enhance that? So, I could do jogging, 3-minute step test, or walking at least 30 minutes a day. Now, you have to think of other three components and fill in this chart. Do you understand? Okay, copy your assignment in your PE notebook. Are you done? Are you done? Okay, let us all stand for a short prayer. Are you ready to pray? Okay, let us pray. In the name of the Father, of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Thank you, Lord, for guiding us for all the things we've done today. Watch us, Lord, on our way and take us home safely. Amen. In the name of the Father, of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Goodbye, students. Hey, guys, and you just watched another episode from the Shuto Demonstration Teaching Series by Cherniel for PE for Grade 7. At para sa lesson plan and instructional materials ng video na ito, ilalagay ko ang lahat ng link dito sa description box. At para sa lahat ng mga videos ko, Tungkol sa DEPED Ranking, lesson by tutorials, and other teacher-related stuff, iiwag ko ang lahat ng link dito sa description box. And once again, this is Cherniel. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye, guys!